In light of the ongoing movement to ban books, particularly those by Black authors, the rich tapestry of Black history and narratives have faced targeted suppression. The act of prohibiting these literary works results in the silencing of vital voices. To help us better understand the Black experience, our guest is a powerhouse in the world of libraries. As a development manager for the Charles County Public Library and a certified professional public librarian in Maryland, she brings a decade of diverse experience to the table. From a dedicated public service associate to a branch manager of both the smallest and largest branches, her journey is nothing short of remarkable. Her passion and commitment led her to earn a Master's of Library and Information Science from the University of Maryland in 2018. Notably, she was recognized as a finalist for the 2018 Innovative Librarians Award and honored as a Spectrum Scholar by the American Library Association. Beyond her achievements, she actively contributes to her profession through her virtual community at Black Librarians and her collaborations with prestigious organizations such as Black Caucus of the American Library Association, Black Caucus of the Maryland Library Association. Let's dive into her inspiring story of transforming the library landscape. Please welcome to Unbanned Coolies, Shannon Bland. Thank you. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. <laughs> Without further ado, I have lots of questions. So let's jump right into it. As a kid, I loved reading Harry Potter. The strong bonds of friendship and loyalty between the main characters resonates with me. Is there a book you loved when you were a kid? The, uh, what was it called? Frindle. That was a, a book that I enjoyed from my childhood. When young kid, I used to actually write stories. I would write stories. I would illustrate them. I would staple them together. But um, I was also into reading a lot of books about animals. So like the different informational books where you learn about different, um, you know, sea animals, land animals. I tended to read those type of books um, a lot as well. This channel was inspired by my favorite book, Coolies, which is banned. Do you have a favorite book that is currently banned? It was recently banned in Florida, I believe. It's called The 1619 Project. It's kind of a collection of different stories regarding the foundation of America, slavery, a big focus on that. Black librarians have historically been underrepresented in the field of librarianship. Diversity and inclusion initiatives have been introduced to promote the recruitment and retention of librarians from diverse backgrounds. Despite progress being made in recent years, there is still work to be done to achieve full and equitable representation of Black librarians in the field. How does BlackLibrarians.com work towards promoting diversity and inclusion within the field? The whole mission of Black Librarians is to showcase and uplift Black excellence in the field of librarianship. So highlighting Black librarians and Black library workers, the work and projects that we do, and making Black librarians more visible because uh, librarianship is overwhelmingly white career field. So the platform kind of came to be because I wanted to showcase like hey, there are actual Black librarians. And not only building community amongst ourselves, those of us that are already Black librarians and Black library workers, but letting others see who are, who are coming up, whether they're a young person like yourself, or if there's someone looking to start a second career, to let them know that you have the capability too to be a Black librarian, Black library worker, if that's what you choose to. Um, for those of us already in the field and kind of inspiring those who are not and letting people know that Black librarians even exist. What resources and support does BlackLibrarians.com offer to Black librarians and aspiring professionals in the library industry? One of our main things that we do is that we feature Black librarians. So um, at any time, uh, Black librarians, Black library workers, they can DM if they want to be featured on the page. So we help make people aware of them. So that's the first way which we support is through awareness. Also, we do meetups. We've done in-person meetups before 
um, pre-COVID. We've done a couple in the past couple years. Our last one was at the end of June. Um, prior to COVID, we were meeting more regularly. It was actually a goal of mine to have us meet like every quarter. And then COVID just came in and messed up all my plans. <laughs> but even during COVID, I still wanted to keep that community feel and like the feeling of meetups. And I used to do virtual game nights. So I would do game nights on Instagram Live. So I did that multiple times during COVID teamed up, as you mentioned in um, your intro, I worked with um, the Black Caucus of the American Library Association. So even teamed up with them and we hosted virtual graduations for students of color. So we were able to do that in the spring of 2020 and the spring of 2021. So that's another way in which we support we do have a mentorship program. It's called Mentee Mentor Relationship. So that's another way in which we are supporting there for a while. Um, we have Black Librarians merch five and a half years later from the time that I uh, first started the Instagram page. Collaboration and networking are essential in any profession. How does BlackLibrarians.com facilitate networking opportunities and foster a sense of community among Black librarians? It's been a journey, but it's been great because I always get positive feedback from people like in messages and comments. Um, a lot of times they'll be the only black person in their department or the only black person in the whole establishment or the whole system. <laughs> it's nice to get messages from those folks in particular because they no longer feel like they're alone. I post job opportunities in our Instagram stories um, for, so people can see kind of the different opportunities that are out there. How can allies and supporters of Black librarians actively contribute to the mission of BlackLibrarians.com and promote diversity in the library profession? Uh, please follow the Instagram page at Black Librarians. I think it's just a great way to kind of showcase what we're doing. And I really am all about kind of inspiring the next generation because a lot of people, not even just Black, but in whole a lot of people don't think about um, the library when it comes to their, their career goals and career aspirations. So anytime I can kind of let somebody know about the work it is that I do. Um, and then, like I said, the meetup aspect of it too. So even being able to network with other um, Black librarians. It has been wonderful, and I've been able to get so many opportunities from this platform, like getting to meet and speak with different folks like you. I've done a number of interviews on Black librarians. I've been able to contribute to the Black Librarian in America. It's a, um, it's actually a book published by the Black Caucus of the ALA. So I've been able, I never thought I would author anything. So I've been able to co-author a chapter in that book. Um, I've been able to speak at conferences, um, you know, different things concerning Black librarians. So it's really opened up a lot of doors. And that's all I'm trying to do for others in general. I think my purpose in life is connect people, connect people to, you know, whatever it is that they're in need of. So that's what I try to do with um, my platform as well. Sounds like some meaningful initiatives. And it's great you found a way to stay active during COVID and keep the community connected. And by the way, the Black Librarian information will be in the link in the description of this video. Can I ask you a question? Yes. So I guess what inspired you, because you're so young, what inspired you to kind of get into creating this type of content? I was inspired to create Unbanned Coolies because I saw myself in the characters and related to the Chinese immigrant experience. Unfortunately, Coolies is among many books that are currently banned. So I wanted to do something, and that's how Unbanned Coolies came to be. I love that. Oh, yeah, I love that, and I like that you're creating this platform where you can get you know the word out there about banned books because you know that's like a big thing in the world of librarianship right now. Um, some libraries are really having a hard time right now. So um, to anybody watching, listening, please support your local library, support your school library. We should all have the right to read what we want to read. Yes, I truly appreciate the depth of knowledge and experiences you brought to the table. 
Is there anything else you would like to share with our audience about blacklibrarians.com and the valuable work being done to empower black library professionals? Yes, please. Yep. So, yep. Follow Instagram at Black Librarians or you kind of want to keep in the know. You can subscribe, send out information on our next meetups and different things like that. Um, But yeah. Thank you so much, Shannon, for sharing your valuable insights and expertise with us today. It's been enlightening and engaging. 